Hey guys, ADHD here. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys I built this awesome Bomo house. I really love the show Adventure Times. I wanted to build this for you guys, and I thought this thing came out awesome. If you actually look at it right here, I actually use the sign wool behind the glass here in order to kind of give the face a little more contrast. Um, but as we're building that, if you want to remove that, so that's kind of like a viewpoint to the set, you know, top floor, kind of like the Game Boy house was. You can go ahead and do that if you'd like. But anyway, let's get started for this. So for this build, you're going to need cyan wool, black wool. Scion stained glass or regular glass if you don't have scion stained glass. Uh, lime wool, red wool, blue wool, yellow wool, and also a swiftness potion because we're going to need to fill certain parts in. But anyway, let's get started. All right, guys. So before we get started, guys, do me a huge favor and hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. It just takes you one second. Like I said, I really appreciate it. But anyway, guys, as always, if at any point in the video you guys feel like I'm going too fast, you can always pause or you can rewind it at any point in order to catch up or, you know, kind of fix anything you think you've messed up on, you know what I mean? So, anyway, just keep that in mind as we're doing this. So, we're going to start with a row of 17 black wool going to the right here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So, again, one straight row of 17 black wool. So what we're going to do first is work on the frame. As you can see, all of Bomo's body is just a black, you know, kind of like an outline first. And we're going to do that to get out of the way. So going from the left side here, we're going to go diagonal one block out with the black wool. Then we're going to do it again. Diagonal and out one, just like that. And then we're going to go from this block up a total of 21 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 20 and 21 so if you were to count the block at the bottom here right here like you know the one right here right here i don't know i said so many times <laughs> the block right here it'll be a total of 22 actually but again this is our block that we counted for the diagonal so we just added 21 to that but again that row should be 22 if you include the first block and do the same thing over here go diagonal out twice one then two and from this block right here going up we're going to add 21 to that current existing block so one two three four five six 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. All right, so on both sides now, we're going to go ahead and go diagonal one block in. So over here and over here. And then what we're going to do is on either side, just go diagonal in one more block and bring it all the way until you're diagonal in one on this block over here on this side. Just like that. So you should just have this big frame that kind of just looks, you know, the same on top as it does on the bottom. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, we're going to start doing is filling all this in now and just kind of, you know, get his body out of the way. So once you get the front of his body done, it's pretty easy from there. Like, there's a little bit of detailing on the right side here, but that's pretty much it. So once you get this part done, we're pretty, you know, good from there. So let's get started starting right here at the bottom with our first row. So our first row is going to be pretty easy. It's just a full row of 17 scion wool. Just going all the way across to the other side. No need to count it out. Okay, next row is going to be 12 scion wool. One, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Then it's going to be 2 red wool. 1, 2. Then it's going to be 5 cyan wool. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, let's do our next row. Next row is going to be 2 cyan wool. Two, or 3 black wool. 1, 2, 3. 1 cyan wool. 3 black wool. 1, 2, 3. Then it's going to be 2 cyan wool. 1, 2. Then 4 red wool. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we're going to do four cyan wool to finish it off. One, two, three, four. All right, let's do our next row. Next row, 11 cyan wool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then we're going to do four red wool. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to do one cyan wool. Then two green wool. One, two. Then one cyan wool. And let's back up just real quick to give a refresher. If anybody needs to pause it, they can take a look at this and make sure it looks the same. Okay, let's keep going. All right, next row is going to be three cyan wool, one, two, three. Then it's going to be two yellow wool, one, two. Then it's going to be seven cyan wool, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then two red wool, one, two. Two cyan wool, one, two. Then two lime green wool to finish, or not to finish it up, it's just two lime green wool, one, two. And then one cyan wool to finish it up. All right, so that's that the way. Now we're going to do our next row, which is going to be two cyan wool, one, two, four of the yellow wool. One, two, three, four. Then the rest of the row is just cyan wool. If you want to count it out, it's a total of 13. But it's going to be just pure cyan wool all the way to the end here. Okay. Next row is going to be two cyan wool. One, two, four of the yellow wool. One, two, three, four. 
Then it's going to be seven cyan wool. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then it's going to be two red. I'm oh, no, sorry, not two red wool. My bad, guys. It's going to be three of the blue wool, just regular blue. One, two, three. Then it's going to be three cyan wool. One, two, three. Just to finish that up there. Okay. Next row, we're going to go ahead and do three cyan wool. One, two, three. Two yellow wool. One, two. Then it's going to be nine cyan wool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then it's going to be one of the blue wool, regular blue. Then it's going to be four cyan wool to finish this row up. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then our next two rows are going to be two rows of just pure cyan wool. So just take it from one end all the way to the other. If you want to count it out, it'll be a total of 19. Okay. So one and then two. Okay. And we're almost done here with this row. Now I'm going to back up again and give you guys one more refresher if you need to just to make sure yours looks the same. Because, you know, you always want to check and make sure yours looks the same just so you don't get all the way to the top and then realize you messed up, you know. So feel free to pause it right here and, you know, check yours out. Okay. Let's continue onward. So our next row is going to be three cyan wool. One, oops. One, two, three. Then it's going to be seven black wool, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then three cyan wool. One, two, three. Then two black wool. One, two. Then four cyan wool. One, two, three, four. And then our next row, guys, is going to be identical to that. So just literally copy the row that you see right here below you. Okay. And boom. All right, our next row is a full row. Oops, did I finish that up there? My bad. Our next row is going to be a full row of 19 cyan wool. So again, just take it all the way across. All right, and then once we're done with this, we're going to go to our next row. Next row is going to be three cyan wool. One, two, three. 13 black wool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Then finish up with three cyan wool. One, two, three. Okay. So our next row is going to be just like this. We're going to go ahead and do two cyan wool, one, two, one black wool. And then we're going to do a total of 13 glass, guys, cyan glass or regular glass, whatever one you have. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Then you're going to do one black wool, then two cyan wool. Okay. So now we're starting to work on his face as you can see here. So just follow along, you know, closely. Next row is going to be two cyan wool, one black wool. Then it's going to be five cyan stained glass. So one, two, three, four, five, or any glass as always. Three black wool, one, two, three. Then it's going to be five glass. One, two, oops. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Then one black wool. Then two cyan wool. All right, let's continue onward. Next row is pretty much all the rows for a while here. It's going to be two cyan wool, then one black wool. But again, it's two cyan wool one black wool then it's going to be four cyan wool one two three four then it's going to be one black wool three cyan wool one two or clay or glass sorry guys sorry glass glass <laughs> then it's going to be one black wool then four glass one two three four then one black wool then two cyan wool and i'll back up just in case that part confused anybody because i know i did make a little mistake with the wording over there so you can back up you know take a look at this if you need to all right let's continue on next row two cyan wool one, two, one black wool, then two glass, one, two, then one black wool, then seven glass, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, then one black wool, two glass, one black wool, two cyan. Okay, and our next row is going to be identical to that again, so we're just going to follow up with that exact same order, just looking directly down at the row below you. Those are my favorite rows, <laughs> just because they're so simple. And then the next row is going to be two cyan wool, one black wool, 13 glass blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Then one black wool and then two cyan wool. And again, this row is going to be identical. So just literally copy the exact same thing once more. All right, then one black wool, then three cyan wool. Again, they're just mimicking the last row. All right. And then our next row, guys, is going to be a full row of just pure, um, what's it called? Pure black, or not black wool. It's going to be three assigned wool. One, two, three. Then it's going to be 13 black wool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Then three assigned wool. I was going to say it's all black wool, but I forgot there's three assigned on both sides. So back up, it should just look like this. Pretty simple. All right. And then our next three, our next two rows, actually, my bad. 
are just gonna be all cyan wool. So there's gonna be all this little leftover part right here with cyan wool. So if you want to count it out, that'll be 19, and this one will be 17. But there's no real need to count it out unless you know you you want to for some reason. <laughs> you can just fill it in. All right. So now we have that out the way, and now we're gonna start doing the detailing on the front to get that out the way next. So all you're gonna do is take all of these bottoms buttons down here, you know, and just do them again. So these right here are like your select and start button. So add black wool on top of that. Then right here we're gonna add the yellow for the D-pad or like the, you know the D-pad I guess you'd call it. And then over here in the red, we're gonna bring these out. And we're not doing this on all these guys. So don't like go ahead of me and just start doing all of it because that's not how. Some of these are a little different. So this is all red, just like this. And then all green right here. Then all blue. And then over here, this is where it's a little bit different as you can see. So this button is gonna come out. Then what we're gonna do is come behind him right here. And we're gonna just do another row of black wool right here behind this piece, because this is where the disc tray is, or the uh, you know the the cartridge slot, depending on what you know what Bomo plays. I forget. And then we're gonna just remove all of this right here, just to give like a 3D kind of like you know hey you could put something in that. So this kind of looks like this. It looks pretty awesome if you ask me. And then right here, like I said, this is where you want to decide whether you want to give his face a little bit more contrast by adding a layer of cyan wool behind it. So that's what I'm gonna do for mine, because what I want mine to look like. And, you know, it's kind of how I structured the inside for it, to be honest. But you don't have to do this. If you want to, you can leave his face completely, you know, you know, open, basically. So you can, like, you know, make your house inside of his face right there. And you can, you know, see your living room or whatever. You see your bedroom. Whatever it is you're deciding to put inside of his face. So if you want to do that, then you're going to just, you know, just do this. But if you're not, you're not going to do this. I mean, if you, but if you want to just give it more contrast, I think that looks much better. So that's what I did for mine. And now that we are done with the front guys, we're going to do these sides and then the back and then add his legs and arms. But honestly, that is the hardest part there. So give yourself a round of applause because now it's pretty easy. So let's get started on the sides first though. Okay, so what we're going to do first guys is we're going to do the sides. And I know there is some lettering here on the sides and we're going to do that. But the easiest way to do it is just to fill it in and then remove the blocks we need for that. So just follow along with me guys. We'll get everything done. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to come to the back of the Bomo. And we're going to bring back all these blocks, well, except for on the bottom here, all these ones right here in the outside one. We're going to bring back by seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And do the same thing on this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And I'm going to drink my slipness potion because this is take a little bit of time. <laughs> so what we're going to do is do that on all of these outside blocks, guys. Bring them out by seven. You don't need to count them all out. You just need to count out one just so you know exactly you know where you're at. And then just kind of, you can do it like this if you want to, just to make it a little bit faster. We're bringing back all of those black, you know, uh, where all those black uh, blocks are, this whole outside frame, we're bringing them out by seven with these cyan wool. So I'm gonna skip ahead for this, but again, you're bringing back all of these black wool blocks right here on the outside. You're gonna bring them out by seven using the cyan wool, just like this, okay? So again, guys, go ahead and do this. I'm gonna skip ahead, but pause the video right now and just fill all this stuff in right here, right? Again, bring it all out by seven. I can't stress that enough. Bringing all these blocks out by seven. Again, gonna skip ahead, but go ahead and pause the video right now and do this. Okay, so now we have all that done. It should just look like this. You know, again, we brought all these back by seven. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the outside layer, which is the black wool. And what we're gonna do for this is we're gonna just basically follow along with that with the black wool. So everything you brought back, all you're gonna do, except for this first row, we're just connecting like this. All the other ones are just gonna add a black uh, black wool row just like this. So just gonna bring this all the way across, you know, and just line up everything. Just give it a frame back here as well. Okay, and boom, just like that, really simple. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add the next row, and I think the windows are, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, yep, six, and this one is five. Okay, so five, six and five. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do six rows of cyan wool, just like this, just going straight up, so one, two, <laughs> three, this is my least favorite part is like having to awkwardly wait till I get to the other side. <laughs> but anyway, so we, what we're going to do is basically add the windows. Again, I'm doing six rows of cyan wool here, so you're just going to do the same thing. And what we're going to do is add the windows. But if you want to add like a battery pack or something, you can do that. If you're just not really looking for a house design, you're more just looking to make FOMO, then you can add like a battery pack if you want. But we're doing a house, so if you want, you can just do the windows too. All right, so now we're six high. What we're going to do is we're going to do... On the sides here, we're gonna go up a total of five blocks with this row. So one, two, three, four, five, and then add a second row. And do the same thing over here. One, two, three, four, five, right, yeah, five. Then five over here. And then you're gonna do five rows of cyan wool going up from here. And we're just gonna leave that spacing there so we can add the windows next. Cause we just don't wanna have to keep you know, switching between blocks. So that's one row, then two, 
Then three. <laughs> this is like the worst part. And then four coming up here. And then my swiftness ran out. That's great. This <laughs> is so four. And then five. And then we're gonna do the same thing we've done that side. We're gonna go up on the sides here by five. One, two, three, four, five. You're gonna do that twice. Same thing over here. One, two, three, four, five. And do that twice. And then connect it on top with the cyan wool and just take cyan all the way up. So two more roads, just pure cyan wool. And we're almost done with the main body. We just gotta add his arms and you know, really small stuff. It's actually almost done here. Pretty simple build. All right, so now that we have that out the way, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna drink a swiftness potion <laughs> if you have it available and you're gonna fill in these windows with either scion stained glass you can use ice you can use glass, regular glass glass panes whatever you want to use go ahead and fill in these back area right here with the windows uh yeah so that's pretty much it i'm gonna skip ahead for this but uh go ahead and pause the video right now and fill these windows in real quick okay so now we're gonna add the little lettering on his side where it says bmo basically and it's really simple the thing is the m is kind of like a little iffy just because it's kind of hard as you can see it's kind of it looks like an h but Anybody who knows what it is will see it's an M. I mean, if you kind of just use your imagination, it kind of looks like an M. <laughs> it's just hard to make an M on this like size, basically. So what we're going to do is basically come to the top up here. And our first row, before we start going diagonal right here, we're going to go diagonal. And you're going to add, remove this block right here. And you're going to go to the right. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, uh, I don't really know how to do this. But this I don't actually have ran into this kind of thing before, actually. So go diagonal from this top block. Do one black wool. Then go to the right two. And do two black wool. Then go down on this left side here, go down a total of four. One, two, three, four. Then do black wools. Then do in this middle one right here, do to the right two black wool. And then at this bottom one, do the right two black. And on all of these like openings, just do a black wool. It's really hard to explain, to be honest, in this one. Um, but just go ahead and take a look at that. You know, it should just look like this. You can match it up with the corners. You can take a look at this. Not really the biggest pixel art, so you can just pause it and kind of copy that. It's a lot of, probably a lot easier than trying to follow along with me on this particular one. Okay, so now we have the B done. What we're going to do is go down one block from the base of like the, uh, the main part of the B and do one black wool, or basically go down four rows. One, two, three, four. And then on this top middle one, a second to, la or second to top, you're going to go to the right, total of three, or two, one, two, and then mimic this side over here. All right, and again, I'll fill this in just so you can pause it. It's honestly probably a lot better way to show you than me doing it. Okay, so there you go. That's what it should look like. Then our next one, you're going to go down one row, and you're going to do a straight line of four. Black wool. Then you're going to bring that down by three. One, two, three. Same thing over here. One, two, three. And then in the middle here, connect them with the black wool. And again, I'll just keep pausing it because I know I'm not doing the best job of explaining this. So again, you can pause it and take a look at this. And you can just back up and pause, take a look at this whole thing as a whole. As a whole. You know what I mean? Okay, so that's this side. And then what we're going to do is basically, I want you guys to come inside here real quick. And on this side, there's no detail except for his armhole. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take a block just like this from this part of the arm. And we're just going to bring it all the way across so just so we know exactly where we are. And what you're going to do is once you get over here, you're going to make another square to complete basically what we did over there. And you're just going to punch that through. All right, so now this is exactly where your arm holds should be on this side. So you're going to go around this and make that same O. And there's not actually an O here. It's just kind of his arm slot. There's no lettering on this side. Um, if you wanted to, you could do it. But I don't think there actually is one on your actual BOMO. So you don't want to necessarily do something that's not there. So once you have that done, this is where his arm holes are going to be. You're just going to fill these back into the cyan wool. Once, oops, not black wool. Cyan wool once you get done. Come over on this side. Let's go outside first. And now we're gonna add his arms real quick. So the actual main body is in. Now we have to just do add his arms, legs, and do a little bit of the interior, and we're done. So let's add his arms real quick. Okay, so for his arms, it's not very difficult. It's hard to explain. It's like this kind of reminds me of the spider survival house I built, and his legs. This is kind of what it is. So what you're gonna do is basically, I want you to start on the O, and you're gonna go from the top of the O and go down three. One, two, three. With the cyan wool. Same thing over here. One, two, three. Then you're gonna double layer that. All right. And then what you're going to do is you're going to do the exact same thing, but it's like, imagine this block is a part of it. So you're going to go down one, two, one, two. Then on this one up here, go down one, two, three, one, two, three. And now let me show you exactly what I mean by it. My controller just died. <laughs> so give me one second. But let me plug this in real quick. That was really unfortunate. I was just getting into it. <laughs> and so, yeah. So you see how this is three, like three by two square we have here. It's another one right here, except for it's only part of it. Is this, you know, we're kind of like using this one to connect them. 
and that's what you're basically doing so you're gonna do that three more times so again go down by three from here or down by two right here and then from here you're gonna go down by three and then you're gonna do it again go down by two and then from here you're gonna go down by three all right and I'll show you guys the whole thing again once I'm done and then go down by two and then go down by three all right and I'll back up so you can take a look at this whole thing as once just so you can take a look at it all right so you can see it's all these like three by two squares but they're just all connected using one block and then when you get to the bottom here you're just gonna bring this out by two blocks one two and then one two, one, two over here and you can make it too high like this if you want to kind of make it a little bit better there you go just like that so that's what his arm should look like over here I made his arm a little bit thinner I think kind of like this but go check with whatever one you think looks better so now we have that done let's do the left arm I'll do that one with you guys too even though it's like the same thing but I just to make sure so from here go down by three one two three one two three double layer it one two three one two three then from the outside block go down by two one two one two then from up here go down by three one two three again we have our you know our three by two square connecting and you're just gonna do that all the way down there's no real way to explain it it's just kind of and you know, I think I hope I did a good job explaining that part but it's really was one of those more difficult things to explain and again we just did that all the way down to the bottom and then bring this one out by again by two right so that's what it should look like just like this pretty simple uh, just hard to explain so that's what you should have right there now what we're gonna do is add the legs so let's add the legs real quick okay so for the legs what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in two blocks on both sides so you're gonna go in like this one two and then the third block you're gonna bring this out by 12 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then on this next block you do the same thing bring it out and then you're gonna double layer by adding another row right here just like this and over here and then do the same thing on this side go in by three by two one two and then on the third block go out by 12 and I'm just gonna match mine up using my eyesight but just looking over here you know see it perfect all right and then again on this side bring this one out by the same length then I'm gonna double layer it okay and then what I want to do in these these finishing blocks over here just go take these last four and go up by two all right same thing over here okay and this last thing is just kind of you don't really have to do it but I think it looks a little tiny bit better like literally a little tiny better <laughs> I just added carpet to the top of his legs just because like I felt like his legs were a little thin but they weren't so thin that I needed another block because I added another block that kind of looked a little too thick so I felt like this carpet just did a little bit enough to make it like a little bit thicker um, but you know didn't wasn't a full block basically so that's perfect right there in my opinion so that's his legs and I almost even if you added like a half slab that'd be too much like a carpet's like ironically the perfect amount of height I think to add to make his legs look a little thicker so that's actually it for Bumble all we have to do is do the interior now so let's get started on that the interior is nothing too crazy but I will show you guys it regardless so let's get started on that so for the interior we got to make a door obviously so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and remove like the center three blocks of the outside you should have two sign on left on both sides and just move this all the way down to the floor okay and then we're gonna do that exactly to fill that in basically with the glass just like this and back here we're gonna put our door just like that so put your door in just like this and you might want to replace this real quick actually just get rid of this and you're gonna the whole floor is gonna be made out of um, spruce and also what is it called um you're gonna do spruce planks and also you're going to do oak planks so just go ahead and do that real quick you should do spruce wood there and put your door in back in there all right and then we have to close this up obviously so you can either just do glass just like this and make the whole frame out of glass but on the outside it'll look like that really cool design then you know it matches up with it and then just do the uh sand wool just like this all right almost here okay so now that we have that out the way what we're gonna do is you're gonna remove all of this flooring real quickly and you're gonna replace it with the outside layer being spruce planks going all the way around just like this and then the inside of that spruce planks as oak planks so again you're gonna replace all this dirt here with you know spruce planks and oak planks again the outside perimeter is going to be spruce planks and the inside is gonna be oak planks basically where that grass is currently so 
you can do change this up if you'd like to but this time i'm doing mine so again just go ahead and you know i'm gonna pause the video we're going to skip ahead or i'm gonna skip ahead in the video we're going to pause the video right now and remove all this stuff and replace it with oak all right okay so now we have that out the way so our next row our next row again these windows are kind of like they're not like window windows they're kind of like um kind of like viewpoints like uh you know outer layer so you're just gonna match up the oak plank or spruce planks with our window there so kind of like one of these type of windows where it's not like a kind of like a sliding glass door where you're kind of at the windows height already you can kind of look at the rest of the world and stuff so that's how i went for for this so you're just gonna go around the whole outside layer with the spruce wood right here just like this first and then the next row did the same thing which the next row is going to be right over here with this window starts so on this window same exact thing this is to take the spruce wood all the way around here and take it around and you're gonna have to go around Belmo's head here as you can see <laughs> and then you're going to take this here and if you didn't do this you just keep it going across I know some people may have not done the uh, inside layer and then what we're gonna do is all of the inside of this we're gonna replace with oak and including the bottom floor and the top floor if you want you can also do like kind of like a see-through floor you can just use glass you can see through the whole building if you want um, but I don't recommend that because you can't place like beds and stuff on glass so I recommend just doing oak um, so you're just gonna do this real quick. I'm gonna skip ahead for this yet again, but go ahead and pause the video right now and fill both of our little frames we just made with oak. Okay, so now we're pretty much done, guys. If you guys, all you need to do to basically is take a ladder going from here all the way up if you want to add your ladder just to, you know, fill everything in. Pretty simple. Wherever you want to add the ladder, really. You could do staircases if you want. You could do the ladder going through here. Wherever you want, but we're actually done. There's no interior for this build, like, you know, decorative-wise. Just because there's really, you know, a lot of room here and it would just take, like, an extra half an hour to fill this whole thing up. If you guys would want to see that, maybe I could do it, but I don't really think it's necessary. Just kind of, you know, fill it up with whatever you want to, really. And that's pretty much it. I think this house is mainly about the exterior, as with most of my houses. If you enjoyed this, you might also like my Game Boy house. It looks very similar, <laughs> but it's, you know, an actual Game Boy. It looks pretty awesome. And then I also have a NES house that's over here. And if you also just like Adventure Time stuff, I also have the, fan, like, that's not a house, but I made Finn from, uh, you know, from Adventure Time. And you could easily make them into house if you want them. This is the NES house I was telling you about. Also my hamster house over there. I have a lot of awesome builds you can go check out. But this right here is Finn. It's not a house, but you can maybe make it into a small house if you wanted to. And I think this looks pretty good. You know, from some angles it doesn't look as good, but I think it looks pretty decent though. But that's actually it, guys. Again, if you guys can hit that like button if you haven't already, I would greatly appreciate it. If you're new here, definitely subscribe. We have loads of crazy awesome builds on this channel, in my opinion. So I definitely recommend you check those out on the channel. There's like, you know, there's a whole cartoon series. If you just like cartoons, you know, I have a whole series building cartoon houses from different TV shows. So yeah, just so overall, a lot of stuff to build if you like Minecraft projects. So definitely subscribe. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. As always, I will see you guys in the next video. Adios.